Right now on WBZ, returning to the scene of the crime, the jury in the Karen Reed case is currently touring the Canton Road where Boston police officer John O'Keefe was found dead more than two years ago. And Reed just told reporters she believes it'll help her case. We get a very good perspective. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jordan Jagelinzer in today for Paula Eben. Before the trip, a Canton firefighter testified. And as WBZ's Penny Commit shows us, the defense tried to discredit her story. We heard testimony from just one witness today, a Canton firefighter who was present the moment that John O'Keefe's body was found. Now the jurors are headed out to Canton to see the crime scene for themselves. He said four times, I hit him, I hit him, I hit him, I hit him. Correct? Yes. Quote, I hit him, I hit him. Shortly after, his attorney testimony, claiming that it's changed. You didn't write it in your, any report? No. You didn't write it in any notes? No. Respectfully, I think my testimony has been pretty consistent. Then the defense continued building their case that Karen Reed was framed. Reed's attorneys accused McLaughlin of having personal ties to other people who were present the night O'Keefe died, including another Boston police officer's family member. The judge appeared uncomfortable with this line of questioning and called for a short recess. So do you know Caitlin Albert? I do. You're friends with Caitlin Albert? Um, I would say more acquaintances, not close friends. Today, the jurors will spend some time out in Canton, taking a walk through the property where John O'Keefe's body was found. Then they'll come back to the courtroom for more testimony. In Dedham, I'm Penny Commit, WBZ News.